Hello scapers, my name is Kaidios and welcome to the Fox Den. This video will walk you through the most efficient way to train your woodcutting from level 1 all the way to level 99 as a free to play regular account or as a free to play Iron Man account. Please be sure to slap the like button to turn it from grey to blue, hit the subscribe button to change it from red to grey, and also ring the bell icon so you can stay up to date when all my new videos are posted. With that being said, let's get right into it. Woodcutting is a relatively simple skill. All you really need is an axe and a tree to get started. As you train and level up your woodcutting, make sure, if possible, to switch to the next tier of axe. This is important as the better axe you use, the faster you'll able to chop logs and increase your XP gain per hour. On the screen now are all of the different axe types and the woodcutting level that you need in order to equip each one. If you're a regular free-to-play build, simply buy one of each axe type from the Grand Exchange. If you're a free-to-play Iron Man account of any type, bronze, iron, and steel axes may be bought from Bob's Axe Store in Lumbridge. The black axe is a reward from a beginner clue scroll with a 1 in 805 drop rate if you're lucky to have it. The mithril axe can only be made in free-to-play by using one mithril bar on an anvil with level 51 smithing or at level 50 smithing if you plus one boost with the dwarven stout. The same for an adamant axe using an adamant bar on an anvil at level 71 smithing without the dwarven stout boost or level 70 smithing with the dwarven stout boost. Lastly, the rune axe is the pinnacle axe to have to woodcut within free to play. Use one runite bar on an anvil at level 86 smithing without a dwarven stout boost, or at level 85 smithing with a dwarven stout boost. Do keep in mind that the only way to get the runite ore that you need to smith the rune axe is in level 50 plus wilderness. So if you're a hardcore Iron Man, I wouldn't recommend this option as it's very easy to get PK'd and die here as it's a hot spot for PKers. I would personally recommend killing Bryophyta as an alternative as she'll drop two runite bars at a drop rate of roughly 1 in 20, which in my opinion is a much safer way to get your runite bars for your rune axe. Head to Draenor Village in the northwest section just above the pig pen. I find that this is a great area to start as there's about 10 normal trees in a cluster. Equip your iron axe and click on the trees to start wood cutting. Once you have a full inventory of logs, you can bank them at the Draenor Village bank or you can use a tinderbox on the logs to fire make all of them right then and there. For you ultimate iron men, you should always cut and fire make the logs when you train as you don't have access to a bank. You'll need to cut 97 normal logs to reach level 15 wood cutting. Make sure to switch over to a steel axe at level 6 and a black axe if you have one at level 11. Stay in Draenor and head to the one oak tree that is just to the east of the bank. Same exact thing here. Click the tree and fill up your inventory with oak logs. You can then bank them or fire make them as you would cut. There are a few other oak trees a little further to the east, however the oak tree next to the bank spawns much faster than you can make it over to the other oak trees, so simply cut at this one oak tree all the way to level 30. You'll only need to cut 65 oak logs to reach level 30 wood cutting. Make sure to also equip a mithril axe at level 21. Remain in Draenor and head to the willow trees which are just to the southwest of the bank. You'll be chopping willow trees all the way to level 99 as they yield the fastest woodcutting XP rates per hour. During your woodcutting grind, make sure to equip an adamant axe once you reach level 31 and equip your runite axe once you've reached level 41. Turn the NPC attack option to hidden in your game settings so you don't accidentally attack the dark wizards that are roaming about. The most efficient way to chop down the willow trees is to utilize a concept called tick manipulation. In order to tick manipulate, you'll need to have either the snow globe or the reindeer hat item which can only be obtained by completing a Christmas event for that particular year. That's why it's crucial around Christmas time to do the event while it lasts. If you don't, you'll need to wait an entire year for the next one to roll around. Make sure you have the game tab on the bottom of your client selected to see the snowfall text. Once you're ready, right click on the top left corner of the snow globe and hit the snow option. Once the snow spawns beneath you, alternate between clicking the snow pile and then the willow tree a total of 7 times. Once you see the 7th you attempt to make snowballs text appear, immediately right click your snow globe, 
and spawn more snow. Then repeat this process. You'll know you're doing tick manipulation correctly if you don't receive any snowballs in your inventory. At early woodcutting levels, you may not notice too much of an increase in woodcutting XP per hour, but at mid to late game woodcutting levels, you'll really notice a significant increase. I'll be perfectly honest, it'll take some time learning how to do this properly and you'll probably mess up a lot in the beginning, but once you start getting muscle memory, you'll pick it up and it'll become second nature to you. Once you have your full inventory, do the same exact thing. You can bank them or you can fire make the logs right then and there. You'll need to cut a total of 192,905 willow logs in order to reach level 99 woodcutting. I do also want to mention, you aren't necessarily limited to only drain or village to cut the willow trees. My personal favorite spot to train is at the willow trees just to the south of Remington. There isn't a bank there, so you'd need to bring a tinderbox to fire make the logs you cut down, but I like it here as it's peaceful and no one else is around you. I honestly find it relaxing looking out into the ocean side and chopping willows all to myself without any distractions. And not to mention, the trees will stay spawned much longer if only you are cutting it down compared to two or more other runescapers. You can chop willow trees anywhere you'd like for a change of scenery, but I find that Draenor Village, Remington, and the willow spot to the north of the Port Serum docks are the best ones to train at. And with that, this video is now concluded. Thank you so much for making it through to the end of the video. Please like this video, subscribe, and ring the bell icon if this video guide helped you. Also, if you'd like to join the Fox Den Discord server, the link will be in the description below. Lastly, I do stream live on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook Gaming every Tuesday and Thursday, so feel free to hop in and say hi. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya!